Keeping it real. Keeping it you. What's that you say? Keeping it real. Keeping it real. What's that you say? Roo and who? What's that you say? Hey, we are here with a new guest on our Roo and Who show, and I've really been looking forward to meeting this person. A total inspiration and talent that has been a huge contribution to the music world for a very long time. It's Spencer Drake. Yeah, so give it up. <laughs> It's, it's a real pleasure to meet you. A record cover designer for years. Amazing. Um, and uh, I started uh, actually working on... It's still going on. It's amazing. Yeah. And uh, my partner, I, I started with Cider Records. Uh, that was my big push in my life uh, with Seymour Stein. And Madonna. Work, and Madonna was on there. And the Pretenders I worked for, uh, designed for uh, Stop Your Sobbing Slip for the Pretenders, which is famous. Uh, and uh, of course, the Ramones. And I'll show you some of my work. The sire. This was yeah. probably very. Woo! You know, we moved our show to Otto Shrunken Head on Joey's birthday. Really? Wow. Yeah. So Joey's birthday is our anniversary Woo! always, and he is a forever angel watching over us. Oh, so that's right, why yeah. his is the first record Joey, you showed. Joey was. A we love you, person. Joey. We love you, Joey. Exactly. I love Joey. And. Um, Actually, the back cover is a picture by Danny Fields. Oh, I know Danny. And there's a movie out i got to talk about called uh, uh, Danny Says, which just was shown at South by Southwest. Awesome. Amazing yeah. film uh, directed by Brendan Toller. And uh, it's a great film that everybody should see when it gets circulated. That's like. And my second, uh, th this was the other follow-up cover with Mick, famous Mick Rock photograph on the front, into the century. Phil Spector produced it. Oh, they had fun with him, didn't they? They had a war, yeah. fun and war. Yeah, right? yeah. They had a fun, and I would call it war. They did, thing. yeah. Bill <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> Spector has a good reputation for that. I went to his Christmas party. You did? Yeah. What happened? He told me I was like ecstatic. <laughs> You're lucky. That's all. Yeah, I got kicked out. Oh, knocked no. over a lamp. No, I did the. I did the. Yes, the, the third famous. You have such stories, Marla. You do. And he brought us down to the garage. He just brought us really? a new stingray. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Phil's back there. Yeah, but did he show the guns? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he didn't know those were the trunk. That's right. Exactly. The oil painting of the Beatles. Oh. And he had just gotten. Well, why not? So after this, I uh, I did a famous I didn't bring with me. It's a live uh, live album by the Ramones, which is very famous. Uh, they recorded in London. Uh, after the Ramones, I worked uh, actually on T. D. King's solo album, which Bob Dylan photographs, the famous Yay, Bob Dylan photographs. He brought me in actually, and that was an interesting story because D. D. would. With a girlfriend there, they were kind of like Willie, kind. Willie Deville and his wife. Would that be kind, like, right? right? Was it kind? I believe no, it's funny. I lost sense of who it was at that time, but it, it's like that. Blonde. It was a hit couple. They were like a hit couple in the, in the Chelsea Hotel. Right. Uh, it reminded me so much of like Willie Deville and his wife, or. Uh, Sid and Nancy. Yeah. The whole thing. It and was cold. Judith and I were going to Chelsea and meet with DD and uh, Tony Dunn and Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah, that was the show. I mean, Chelsea was the show. Yeah. So uh, that album was really cool. Uh, everybody says that's the album cover, not the album. Oh, uh, that's it. isn't that nice for you to hear? <laughs> 
Yeah, Didi always said he didn't want, he didn't want, he always, you know, he told me, why did you do the album? I actually said that to him. Why did I do this album? He did it for the cover. He did it for the cover. Exactly. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Right. Of course. And then we're going into one of the iconic groups, Talking Heads, who co-designed this cover, which was nominated for a brand new award, an album package in 1980. Do they still iconic. give that award? Yeah, they do. Every the packaging? Year. Yep. That's one of the awards you don't hear on television. Yeah, right? I know. Those and are the ones that they do before the Grammy. I was a Grammy judge in album packaging for four years. Good for away. you. So, so who did you pick? Did well, you pick yourself? No, that that's when they. I worked on the Velvet Underground Peel Off Banana Limited Edition. Wow. Now they had us throwing you off the judging panel because it got into the top 25. So there's an example oh, of where it's a conflict of interest. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So once you get too good, they kick you now, off to the voting. So, so yeah, is yeah. that why Oprah still votes at the Grammys? Well, you know, if, it's, if, if I have a package in here, you know, I can't vote, you know, da da da. So right, vote. yeah. But this, this group is unreal. I've heard you heard a group, great, great. This cover was a lot of shows. A group called Alda Reserve on Sire Records. Sire. Amazing group, Sire Records. Another group on Sire. Wow. So did they? Did they didn't even have a one-hit wonder? These guys. They didn't even have a one. -hit wonder. <laughs> Does this signify away. something? It well, it's painted by the lead singer, believe it or not. Okay. It's like a symbol of, of the band name. Yeah. yeah. The band name, and that was their, like, they didn't brain. have such good A and R. Now this is. One of the most pivotal albums in Lou Reed's life. Oh, the New York album, which I, uh, Judith and I designed. That's wow. What out with Sylvia Reed, who was Lou Reed's wife at the time we worked right. with her, and it was just a great combination. The album Lou. was iconic. iconic. Yeah, it, it certainly was. It is everything. Yeah. Uh, Lou was a very. You know, later in life, I was so glad to really talk with him. Judith and I really were able to really talk with him. He loved our work, but he was a really cool guy. And he told me one time that we were one of the best designers he ever had. And, it was great to him. and he, you know, you didn't see him. You didn't talk to him. Right. That's so nice. So I remember that. Well, I know his wife. Um, oh, Gloria? She is one of the nicest people. That, she is. She, I, I don't know. Him. I, I've met her a few times. Yeah. And I have to say, Lori is one of the nicest people that I've ever experienced in this world. Well, I can tell you, she So he has to be somewhat decent. Because, oh, yeah. Because if he's with her, then I know, because she is really one of the most incredible she, women. I've met her several times. Me too. And, and, right, and I totally agree. She's, she's, so, one so, of, she's nice. so spiritual. I worked at the uh, Ritz, yeah. and, and I have to say, she, Lori Anderson is the only person that came up to the window was on the guest list and demanded to pay because wow. she said, I want to support the artist. Seven. And we were like, but you don't have to. Do you know how many people wiggled onto that guest list? Right. Like Lenny Kravitz or I, I remember what were you doing. He uh, snuck into Living Color. And I always know that Lori Anderson, she like we, we were trying not to take her money. She I mean I mean she has it, but like she was know, so cool. You know what's interesting? Sean Lennon is like that. And mm -hmm. I I send our books to Sean and you'll go uh, being in their life, so. right? But Sean is a very giving musician, mm -hmm. and um, I think what he did, like over Christmas, and, and and this is a you know, the musicians have all this money, they would do things like that. I mean, this and they're unbelievable, Frank. Really great stories about. How we use it. The doorway, that's in right now. It right? is. And you know, I used to work, um, do events for a place called Hale House, which I love so much. If you look them up, it didn't have a happy ending, but. They were a place in Harlem that took care of babies born addicted to AIDS and whatnot. And um, 
in the backyard of Hell House, it was Sean Lennon's playhouse. He donated it when he was a little kid to Hell House. And we, the little kids used to, we used to play in Sean Lennon's playhouse. Yeah, I mean, he learned from very young to be very generous. Yeah, so when people come on and say, well, there's a lot of people who do that. Come on and say, yeah, tell them what you like. Yeah. I never really met him, but I know someone who was his English teacher in high school. Uh, this is the follow-up album, uh, Magical Loss, dedicated to Doc Pumice, a famous songwriter. Wow. Which we know about. And uh, it's a great album. Also, that was a follow-up album. That we had a great photograph from Louis Chamey, who photographed Lou in Paris, and uh, Sylvia gave us a photograph, and we grew up on that, which is incredible. Um, we worked on the 93 tour of the Velvet Underground. Gosh, you were really there. right in there. I was right in there. So, <laughs> so where did you come from? Where were you born? Born in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. all right. Seems like famous, well, famous people are born in Brooklyn. Brooklyn then, is hotter than ever uh, right now. Then I moved to Long Island. Okay, not Long Island. I heard it's the Long Island. It's the Long Island, right? And that there are so, I you know I was remember seeing Leslie West at the Action House. Oh, oh mountain. mountain! Wow! Wow! I used to have a bass player. That was, that was his mountain. Was his <laughs> so idol? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason I know it. God, so was this so like a? Velvet. But this is like the banana before the banana. Well, this is this is interesting. We took the banana, Sylvia and I and Judith, and we poured it into the metallic banana. So everything is on there a metallic banana. We wow! Put it into a new branding, which is very. Cool. That's the first album Judith and I worked on. Um, nice. It's an amazing, beautiful cover. It won a lot of, like I said, won a lot of his first album. Great album. Probably the best album he ever did, I think. Well, because album. you did the cover. Did the cover of course. Right? And uh, it's Classy. a front and a back flip on that one, right? Yeah. This uh, this is the famous Joan Jett album, uh, which is a Who Shot Rock and Roll yeah. show, a lot of design shows, iconic. Um, Joan Jett did it, man. Yeah. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, Joan Welcome Jett. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. We did six albums for Joan, and she's a wonderful person, I must say. She looks really good today, man. She looks great. She doesn't even look like this anymore, she's I have like, to say. She, she, looks, she and Christy Hyman yeah, are another both one. Un another one. Yeah. Amazing physical condition. Yeah. On the stage, amazing. Yeah. I, I remember Joan Jett at the Cat Club. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. you remember? Were you well, there? You know something? Don Hill was a really good one. And I miss him. Uh, we miss him. Yeah. He was such a good guy, right? Yeah. And, oh, he just said, he would say, Spence, anytime you want to come down, just call me up. Aww. He was that type of guy with yeah. anybody, I think. He was a nice guy. guy. And he really was a big rock and roll foundation. Yeah. Right in this day. Then we went, we go into the more commercial area of Bon Jovi's first album, oh. the which is iconic now because it's his first album, literally. <laughs> But he walked in, great story. He comes into our office, and uh, great guy, absolutely nice guy. He, you know, he deals to a lot of people now, you know, he's a really amazing person. Right. But at that time, he was young, comes into the office, brings a cassette, a runaway, I play it on. Because you know what I thought when I heard Runaway, it, was, it wasn't like Billy Squire's yeah, Don't Say No. Right. It was kind of like da 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 yeah. da 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 So I said, no, okay, but it didn't have that hook that I thought it was. And what yeah, happened? Sure Number enough. one, yeah. kill a great story. Wow. I just love how he sings that song of, that one song that he has, like, I'm so, like, that I hate you or, like, you make me angry. And he sings everything with, like, a big smile. Right. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that's, I can, uh, yeah, Bon Jovi's like, you stink. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Now this album, um, they called me up at 12 o'clock at night, and they said, Spencer, you got to listen to the cassette before you work on it. I run over the Capitol Records, heard the album. Now this was an album, Don't Say No by Blue Square, that went multi-platinum, but I got And it has that raw 
that raw guitar sound that you don't hear anymore in any Billy Squire product, and that what made that album. He should have went back to that sound after this album. He died with the charts, you know. He really did do that. Well, album. you know, things happen in yourself, and you just don't that realize the album. that's the one that people wanted. Yeah, this is the album. You can hear it. All mm -hmm. the songs are really perfect. Did you ever think really within your career that? Like, prime example, Velvet Underground, right. the iconic banana, anything right. iconic. Did you ever think that something that trivial, not to be rude, yeah. would be... A lot of people, they asked me about, like, I've been on MTV, they asked me quite about that time in VH1, um, you know, about certain groups like the Ramones, for instance, uh, the same thing, it's kind of relative, it's like... What did you feel at the time working with these dynamic, kind of dynamic groups? But at the time, I didn't think about that. I mean, I thought about the music. Literally, I just thought about the music, where they were. I didn't think about what they were going to be, but look what happens. They were all talking heads. They're, I worked on so many groups, amazingly, and blessed in life. My mother was a singer, by the way. Okay. And my father was in film for a short time, so I had that back in film. Right. This was a big thing in my life. Um, and uh, it just... In my life, I just happened to hook up with these incredible. You got people. lucky. I yeah. mean, your talent. I mean, you were able to produce, but I mean, you really fell into a wonderful. Fell place. into it, and I think it's one reason I tell people is I had an incredible typography background. I mean, I'm really strong in type. Judith and I are very strong in typography. Now, Most now, is are. it so different today because of the computer? Because well, this you know, stuff was pre-computer. Yeah, pre-computer. And how did you used to type that? Like, how did you do? Oh stuff my like God! That? We'd send it out to a type house. Right. Send it back. We paste it up. Yeah. I mean, Lou Reed had a whole. It was so much more creative. It was a whole different. Ball. Differently. Yeah, different. Graphics is really fun too, but. Fun, but you know what? Computer is cool too. It is. The it, graphics. It's so cool. The graphics. What and, you can do. But, but. What I find is, especially, they tend to make it worse. It's almost like they should have stayed overdue. As a, overdue. They should stay as a great photographer. Yeah, Everyone went a little too far. It can. It, it this can. is this is phenomenal. This yeah. whole thing. It's I mean, amazing. This, this is, is legendary. It's so what we got? Oh, this is a cover which. Uh, the Friends of the Scorpions, David Krebs's group, and uh, we worked on this cover, of all the covers, by the way, I think we were written up on or on television, everybody's got to see this cover. Japan, any country you've been written about or anything, or a book we've been in, they've got to have this cover. It's an iconic cover that group never saw, the Friends of the Scorpions, but it's a heavy metal group, but it's like a Helmut Newton-esque type wow. photograph yeah. by Je Jeffrey Thomas, who did Bon Jovi's cover. It's a Saturday cover. special, so And just it's like a rock and roll cover. I <laughs> That's mean, what I was told in my abs class today. This position is the Saturday special. <laughs> <laughs> exactly! It's true! That's what the teacher said. I love it. I love yes. it. Okay. She did. <laughs> Hello. I know, right? Okay. I never heard it until today. That's why it's kind now of. This was an artist that's interesting. It's a double, it's a rap, it's like a turn on cover. It has a kind of. But uh, this brings to mind with covers where you really, I, I mean, Jim and I always talk about, about oral, oral fixation. Oral fixation, right. And, and, but, you know, what's important to us as designers is that it's not the usual picture. Clever. Which many people have a picture of the person on the front. I, you gotta go into concept, and if you're gonna use a photograph, do it in a very conceptual way. You know, that's very smart. And by the way, when people see it, they're gonna think, this is what happens. They think, wow, if that's the cover, what the hell is it? Right, is? so you do judge a book by its cover. You do, yeah, I think a lot of people. Yeah, most do, people. Both people but they see, it's all about the packaging. But it, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really say that the, the CD or whatever in it or the vinyl record is the Thing, but right. The, the, the visualization it's very helps, important. Very important. And I also, know. Yeah. I read books by their cover. I do. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to, but you know. This is sometimes you get lucky, and you know. But. This is an outrageous artist. Uh, Mike Lembo managed the famous Mike Lembo actually managed a lot of great people, but uh, this art. Most insane cover. I mean, the back, you have to see the front and the back. He's working with a TV set with a, with a surgeon's cap on. And the guy is absolutely out of his mind. Totally. This, but this is an image of something, what he is, you know, one of those covers. Um, and uh, it's one of our favorites. Uh, 
So, I mean, there's a lot more we've done. So many. So where can people, is there a website that people can see? Well, we don't, you know, it's funny. We have different things going on. We're on a site called Photo Visura, F-O-T-O-V-I-S-U-R-A, and we have a website on there. We've got a, a design page on Facebook. Um, and, uh, and what's it under? It's under, it's under actually, Spencer Drate, D-R-A-T-E, slash Judith Salavetz, S-A-L-A-V-E-T-Z. That's our design page. What are you working on now? Well, we're going to be doing some vinyl, believe it or not, okay. for somebody out in L.A. Uh, I want to bring up the point. I'm also on the board of the Southeastern Film Festival. We're going to have a film festival. In, uh, it's going to be in Nashville in November. Nashville out there. Yeah. And uh, please, oh, one of our covers that I didn't bring, I should have brought, was the Pack of the Thunderbirds from Austin, Texas. Ah. Yeah. The Tough Enough album, the famous Tough Enough album, which was very The jersey was over, but uh, next year you can always send something in. I'm my email is Spencer Drake, one word at yahoo.com, and you can always come to me on my email and I'll give you the so you know how to do it. Cool. Um, is yeah. there, is there like, does it have to be shot that year or can it be from? I think time? well, we're waiting. This will be for next year now, so mm -hmm. we've already done with this year, yes. Uh, but but for next year, definitely, we're, we're always looking at new filmmakers cool. and um. And we have a lot about, of indie filmmakers that are Yeah. Know. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Tell them yeah. about it. And also, Nashville, we like Nashville because of music in my life and film. So yeah. that's the way. And it's the Southeastern Film Festival is perfect. So that's why we, we picked Nashville. I wanted Nashville. to ask those guys, do you ever watch the show Nashville? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I like, <laughs> I like it too. I, I do. My daughter made me a start girl, watching A woman it. of taste here. Yeah. And Pilates. And who's the sleeping with who? It's like, it's like they, 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 they took off all my children, so like I need something. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Well, Nashville is taking over. And, and Pilates, you got to watch Pilates, a film channel for music. Because okay. that, that is the film channel. They have country western on them, they got everybody. Mm -hmm. But the thing about Pilates, uh, I was talking about someone in New York about it the other day, is that it's a really great format, and you see new musicians, you see concerts, they got Daryl. Uh, live at his own Daryl's house. Got, yeah, that's a great They got, uh, you know, Jules Holland. Uh, they have me. Oh, uh, and you know, I hate to say this, but this whole time I've been sitting here, I have been trying. Oh. And it's, you give love a bad <laughs> name. And he's like smiling the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's. What's funny about John, he's, he's a very. Uh, uh, he and Bruce Springsteen, who we worked for, also yeah, Jersey, 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 the Jersey Boys. They think about that, and I uh, wish more rich musicians would do that. By the way, they give a lot of benefits, and people will help. And John's restaurant is everything to meet people. So I mean, I have a big thing with John Bon Jovi. That's wonderful. That's that's that really great. cool. Yeah. You know, so, it's a shame that um, it's kind of lost its um, place. Record albums. Used yeah. To be the, uh, yeah, they're trying to bring it back. Well, what yeah, people are doing is yeah. kind of like classic. Vinyl, vinyl it's going is definitely. Different. I have a lot of. Actually, we're trying. This is a, a secret to talk about skeletons. Yes. Oh, good. It's we're weekend day. To, I'm he's just looking at Josh's collection of autographs by uh, Johnny Thunders. He's got that stack like oh. this. All over you got to see the. Uh, it's so cool to have yep. stuff like. That. You know what you got to see the Danny Garcia looking for. Drunk I have Harry. seen it. Yes, it's a good. He was movie. on our He's been here. Yeah. Oh, great! Mm -hmm. He's a wonderful guy. He's a nice guy. Great movie. We're very. It good is a great friend. movie. And, um, but I wanted to say that uh, we talk about vinyl. Um, we're going to be doing a vinyl movie. We're getting up, uh, getting started on uh, getting fun stuff, but we're going to be doing a, a film on vinyl, and a very, we have two books out, very big. One's called 45. We're all about the 45, uh, the graphics of the 45 records. Do you remember like the, the first 45 you ever got? Yes. What was it? I lo I'm glad you said that. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, Elvis Presley Hound Dog. Ah, oh, yeah. I can play that one. That's so easy to play. That is part of the 
it's oh, written in my book. I'm so glad you mentioned yeah. it. Yeah, I, I love Hound Dog. It's like the best for the old Elvis, Elvis. Elvis was unbelievable. I yeah. mean, I gotta, you, you know, Elvis was the king. Especially on the Flintstones, when he was Elvis Parsley. <laughs> I, know, I love the Flintstones. They yeah, really Flintstones are great. Sick. I know. So um, I want to have you come back because there's oh, so much to it. talk about. Like a walk through history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was hot. Exactly. And I love these guys. Oh, that. Yes. <laughs> what about that? Jocelyn. Oh, this one I got to show. Yes, Joseph thanks, Arthur. Jo Joseph Arthur, discovered by Peter Gabriel, is doing very well. Great musician and artist. Yeah. We did a limited edition CD for him, letterpress, gorgeous CD, and there's a. It almost looks like art. Led Zeppelin. Yeah, it's yeah, right. Art. He's art. He does art. Yeah. He's an artist and a, music, a great musician. He plays with a group called R and DM with uh, Jeff Ammon of Pearl Jam, Steve Root on drums, which is a not name dropper. But it's good, exactly. This guy shaking. Oh my god! Infinite, infinite, and it just keeps going. I want to say that it's great being on Rue's show, and we threw a course. And I want to say I love what Rue is doing out in the world, bringing on new musicians, new people, and I want to say keep the show going. <laughs> All right, they want a skeleton. He thought that that other one was it, but uh, obviously it's not, so you get some more beacons. Oh so tell us a naughty story you were ever involved in. Maybe a Bon Jovi story. one. Yeah, something, something dirty. What word did you go to? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Okay, I'm at the Ritz. Oh, I worked at the Ritz. And um, who was playing? Oh, very famous. Woodstock, I forgot. Um, Jimmy Hendrix? <laughs> and um, anyway, I pick up this girl and so here we go, it's tonight. <laughs> here I am. And she has to be grouped. Now, this was the whole thing, man. This was the time when AIDS was starting. Yeah, those 80s, uh, man. So, in those, I mean, you just don't I think know. about. What you're gonna do, and you better think twice, yeah. or else you're gonna get killed. Right. And I remember being in the cab. I'm sitting with her, and she says, "Come up to the apartment." And I remember going, "Freak out!" <laughs> and I stopped everything, and I said, "I'm sorry, I, I just can't get into this." And went home. But yeah. that who was, was a do you remember who she was? She was a, one of the groupies for a very this musician was a stock film. I think it was like. Richie Hendrix. Oh, yeah. oh, I was close to Jimi uh, Hendrix. There big you go. for Richie Hendrix. Uh huh. I love Richie Hendrix. Yeah. I like his version of um. Great singer. Of wait, what's he sings that cover of that great song? Straight up. No, George Harrison. Uh, here comes the sun. Oh wow. Yeah, it's yeah, that I kind of the it's this time of year for that song. Yeah, I love his version. of I covered his. He was a great. The Ritz. I miss the Ritz. I mean, the Ritz the was the Ritz. best. Yeah, Eleventh Street. Webster Hall's been there long. Robert the Ritz. Palmer. Yeah. Robert oh yeah, Palmer. I saw him. I saw him in London too at the Rainbow. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I love Robert Palmer. Oh, he was I mean, so good. People today, I don't know if they know Robert. Do you think so? Well, they know. You might as well yeah. face it. You're addicted to love, but they don't know Slip that. and Sally. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So I know. I know. And I miss like Roxy Music with Brian Ferry. Oh, you know, oh, yeah. I have another. Oh, you know, if you sit here, we're just gonna have to talk with you. <laughs> <laughs> I know because um, I had a friend in London. I lived there for a little while. We used to say that Brian Ferry had the best drugs. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, I like those well, stories. Yeah, yeah, all right. But we gotta go. Oh. Well, you have to come back. I will. We'll have all of his information on the Ruin Who page. Too. It's rock and roll up there, everybody. Rock and yes. roll. Up. Ah! Quirky, cool new internet show. Featuring rising stars and living legends too. Eight minutes of fame. Let me tell you, keeping it real. Keeping it rude, uh-huh It's through the eyes of rude